Today's quote is, Friends are saying to me, what are people who are living by faith going to do when money gets tight and depression comes? The thought came to me that the real question is, what are people who are not living by faith going to do? Joy Ritterhoff. This is your daily Elmira Baptist Church update for Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. If you're on the church's uh, email list, you will be receiving a copy of the bulletin as an attachment to an email. You'll receive that before Sunday. And I'm excited about the sermons and the songs that and the scripture reading that we have uh, prepared for this Sunday. I know it'll be a blessing to you. Please plan to be a part of the Facebook live, uh, live stream of that service. Now, it's been amazing what is going on with that live stream. And it's not just Elmira Baptist Church. I, I keep hearing about other pastors whose uh, participation in the live stream uh, has just exploded. Um, let me give you an example. Uh, earlier this week, I was checking, and for our Sunday morning service, we had 346 views and 1,059 people who were reached. On Sunday evening, we had 277 views and 577 people who were reached. I went back to check. This is literally 10 times the number of people we were reaching before, uh, be before the uh, uh, shelter at home order that prohibited us from meeting in person. Now, I understand that in many cases, that's because you all are now watching and before you are attending. And uh, when this shelter at home order passes, I'm going to be excited for us to all meet again, and those numbers obviously will go down. Uh, Facebook Live, frankly, is a poor place to worship together. I would, I would much rather worship in person. But if this shelter at home order is what it takes to get the gospel out and to cause some people who would other not, uh, otherwise not be a part of our services to join us, then I'm willing to do it for the glory of God. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. We have people who've noticed us uh, from Oregon, from Colorado, and all the way from Germany. So keep praying with me that God would use our Facebook live stream and to be a blessing to others and to bring glory to him. Now, here's my challenge to you this week. I want you to invite someone to watch and participate in our services this Sunday. I'm not talking about asking someone who already has a church, who already is planning to watch their church's live stream. I'm asking you to ask a neighbor or maybe a friend or maybe a family member who otherwise would not be a part of any church's live stream this Sunday to join us at 11 o'clock or 5 o'clock uh, for our live stream. Similarly, have you been to sermonaudio.com yet and checked out our sermons there? If you have not, let me encourage you to do that. It's just sermonaudio, one word, dot com. Look for uh, Elmira Baptist Church, California. Or if you can find that box in the, in the top left-hand corner, um, and they'll, they'll ask for your church's code. Our church's code is 54880. That's 54880. And I did an instructional video. It's on the church's YouTube channel, which I hope you can reach through our, our, our website, but uh, you can also check there. Now, remember, we've set aside tomorrow as a day for prayer and fasting, and I hope you'll join us in praying for revival. Pray that the power and the glory of God will be poured out on our county, Solano County, on our state, California, on our country, the United States, and around the world. I continue to hear instances of God at work. Now, I, I'm not wishing the COVID-19 virus on anyone, and my heart breaks as much as yours for those that have been affected by it in New York, particularly New Jersey, here in California. But, but God is at work. He's not silent. And so people are searching. People are hurting. Try to be a, a part of the solution here. Um, also pray for the Woodfins. Uh, their, their goal was to start meeting as a church this month here uh, on Easter Sunday. And uh, their location that they had secured to meet in has uh, closed up for this time. And they're not uh, able to have meetings. But God is still at work. And they were sharing uh, with, with me through a, a prayer letter how they had opportunities to share the gospel in the middle of San Francisco, in the middle of a COVID-19 crisis, because again, God is at work.
Now, if you have your Bibles, I just want to look quickly at the story of this uh, little girl in Naaman's story. It's in 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 2 and 3. It says, The Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, that's Naaman, would God Naaman were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. Notice this little girl's faith. Here she is a captive. You think our shelter at home order is bad? She's not only sheltering at home, she's a slave. She has nothing to look forward to. Her slavery is not going to just go away after a month or two months or three months or ever. But instead of focusing inwardly on herself, she sees her master who's in trouble. And she says, boy, I know the one who can solve his problem, God. And we want to do the same thing. We want to point people to a God who can solve their problems. Not solve it necessarily by making it go away, making the circumstances different. But by giving them that peace that passes all understanding. So let's be like that little girl. And let's invite some folks to join us on our Facebook live stream this Sunday. And let's be there ourselves and participate. Bring your Bible. Take notes. Because remember, even in this tragedy, God is in control. We'll meet again tomorrow.